Good day everyone, I am Cindy Isuniva of Group 6. Today, I am very excited to share with you our video presentation about nanomaterials. At this juncture, may I begin to lay out our overall structure? For introduction, yours truly will deliver it for you, followed by objectives to be presented by Medellin Sulapas. For the title and theme, this will be presented by Jennifer Sutas. Next, Alia Escoliante for the significance of the product in our society. And lastly, Regine Enriquez for the overall summary. At this moment, we will going to witness the different finished product of our members and know the distinct nanomaterials used. And let's see whose product among us will represent our group. Good afternoon everyone. Before we go on to our discussion, let me first introduce our objectives. First, to define the use of nanomaterials present in the product. Next, to understand the purpose of the product. And lastly, to determine the significance of the product in the society. Good afternoon everyone. I am Jennifer Susas and my product is entitled Fantastic with the theme my Santa made in plastic. We Filipinos are used to celebrating Christmas. And one of the things that we always prepared is the decoration of our home. Sometimes we are a little desperate to buy a new home decoration. So let's not waste our our money spending with it expensive home decoration decoration you can make a creative product an amazing product using discarded items and things that are no longer used at home yes discarded items is very useful you just need a little patient a little effort time and style you can make a something you did not expect so what are the materials used for making a fantastic the materials of fantastic is very easy to find at home first you just need a plastic bottle or any bottle available at home the cotton empty egg scissors and glue and lastly the construction paper of course how to make a fantastic or the Santa Claus made in plastic first you need to have a plastic bottle clean plastic bottle uh, the plastic bottle is the body of the Santa Claus wrap it with the red construction paper Put the empty egg on the top of the bottle to make a head of Santa Claus. Next is cut a little black construction paper to make a Santa's belt. Then um, get the cotton and wrap it around the neck of the Santa Claus to make a white beard. And Lastly, paste the eyes, nose, and mouth of the Santa Claus using construction paper. With that, you can also add a little style on it by using cotton and hat of Santa Claus. Put it in the head of the Santa Claus to make it uh, completely beautiful and you can, you can add your style also. Good afternoon everyone, I am Midilin M. Sulapas and this is my product entitled Recycled Battle Pots with the theme Generating Unused Materials into Useful Things. The steps involved for developing my product first, prepare the 1.5 plastic bottles and other materials. Second, get the scissors to cut the upper parts of the bottle and make sure the bottle is properly cut. 
In the third, take the bottle cap and gently stick it to the plastic bottle and make sure it is glued properly so that it does not not fall off or fall off the bottle. Fourth, put the soil inside the plastic bottle. And fifth, put the plants in the plastic bottle. The significance of my product in the society is the recycling plastic bottles helps to conserve space that can be used for other waste. Recycling will also help reduce the number of plastic bottles that end up as waste or roads and water, water sources. In addition, recycling plastic bottles also helps to reduce the amount of pollution in air and water sources. Many landfill facilities will burn plastic bottles to conserve waste which can release toxic pollutants or irritants into the air. The plastic resin used in the manufacture of water bottles also contains potentially harmful chemicals that can penetrate the soil or ground groundwater if they are destroyed in the landfill. Good day everyone, I am Cindy E. Suliva. My title is Botany Plant with the theme, If We Care, We Benefit. The raw materials used in making my own made product are two empty bottles, one meter rope, paper, sand, white small rocks, two discs, trachina reflexive plant, and aloe vera plant. Questioning how I made it, simply prepare first the materials to be used, wash the bottles, and put the strained sand as the first layer, as well, I pick small pieces of white rocks that serves as the second layer. Then finally, decided to put Trachina Flexa in New Grow Aloe Vera as it's the only plant I see that could fit inside the bottles. Next, I encircle the black rope in the color part of the bottle together with cutting a paper then turn it into a paper fan. Last step, Stick the disc below the bottle so at night it creates small light reflections. As to the final output of my product, I consider it as a good decoration knowing it was made up of raw materials which this becomes something new to our eyes. It is profitable as well in a way of forming this product. I can sell it because I know primarily coming from the materials, it was all unique. Instead of putting plastic plants and common pads, why not use the real one and explore more ideas to recycle? Because the time you made something, you knew you can benefit out of it. Literally, the significance of my product in our society is that it represents as a help for us to inhale fresh air despite having polluted air in some places. When we talk about raw materials as well the creation of my product, enables everybody to realize how does mixing this raw materials can create such beautiful output product. Good day everyone, I am Eugene Rekas and the title of my product is Homemade Paint. I paint using paints with the theme, Spend Less, Be Creative. Forget those toxic store-bought paints, which is flour, water, salt, and food coloring you can quickly make a safe and versatile paint that can be used for everyday home decoration, safe for children of all ages. To make the paint, you need some very basic household ingredients that can be found in your kitchen, such as the following. Flour, water, salt, food coloring. The process of making the homemade paint is first, pour flour, water, and salt in a bowl, plastic cup, or anything you can find in your kitchen. Mix the ingredients into smooth liquid. Second, divide the paint into separate containers. Distribute the paint evenly among a few small bowls or squeeze bottles. Third, pour a few drops of food coloring into the bowl. Choose a specific color that you want. You can add more drops as needed if the paint's color isn't dark enough. Fourth, stir the paint to mix in the food coloring. If your paint is in open container, Stir it with a spoon or another utensils. For bottles or bags, close the container and shake or squeeze it. Keep doing this until the paint becomes a consistent color. Lastly, add more water to thin the paint. Paint made using flour, 
mixture may seem pretty thick at first, but thin the paint gradually pour more water into the container. Mix the ingredients together until the paint is exactly how you want it. The significance of creating the homemade paint is it's cheaper and creates less waste. Paint that is safe for children of all ages and is safe for the environment can be made quickly with the flour. In addition, the satisfaction of using something that you made is fulfilling. Homemade products are now being embraced by people everywhere. Homemade paint contributes to our society by creating less waste and the materials are environmentally friendly. Coin purse made of plastic bottle. Nano material for the environment, recycle for the better. A coin purse made of plastic bottle is an eco-friendly product. The materials I use are two plastic bottles, zipper, and stitching materials. The procedure in making this coin purse is first, prepare the materials. Second, cut the portion bottom of the plastic bottle and discard the top. Third, punch holes in the edge with a thick needle. Next is sew the zipper to the bottle using a running stitch on both sides. And lastly, zip the bottle shut. Your coin purse is now complete and ready to use. You can also put a design of your choice. A plastic bottle is a nanomaterial. It increases the surface area of a material, which makes it stronger, more durable, and more conductive than their larger scale counterparts. That makes the product made of nanomaterial more useful, as it can be reused, recycled, and can be used in different ways. A coin purse made of plastic will give you durability and longer use. And most importantly, it helps the environment. Recycling means lesser waste, less pollution, and a better environment. Significance of product Nanomaterial increases the surface area of a material. This allows more atoms to interact with other materials, which makes it stronger, more durable, and more conductive than their larger scale counterparts. Nanomaterials can be added to cement, cloth, plastic, paint, and other materials to make them stronger and yet lighter. So, we have here our product that is made up of recycled materials. A plastic bottle coated with a red paint and adding its decoration. So, the product made of nanomaterial is very durable and convenient. Also, if it is made of nanomaterial, then it is very recyclable and can be used in many ways. Nanomaterials are very special for several reasons. But for one in particular, it is their size. So nanomaterials are up to 10,000 times smaller than a weed of a human hair. And this tiny size makes them very valuable for all kinds of practical uses. The world is facing significant ecological difficulties, such as improving the quality of soil, water, and air. Right now, the industry is focusing on identifying pollutants and stopping further contamination. A likely answer for these issues is to use nanomaterials. Nanomaterials can be used to help with cleaning the environment and even give efficient solutions. Because of the capacity to produce the materials with a certain goal in mind to assume a particular part, the use of nanomaterials ranges across different industries from medical services and beauty care products to natural conservation and air purification. Most of all, Nanomaterials help to improve the quality and performance of numerous consumer products. Our chosen product entitled Santastic with the theme My Santa Made in Plastic is made up of recycled materials. In that way, our chosen product contributes to our society by saving resources. It provides many benefits on both environmental and economic issues. 
at the point when you transform something old into something new, it helps the environment in various ways. Materials and natural resources aren't wasted.